Welcome everybody, welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's YouTube video, I am showing you guys the Zoom Vapor 15 Elite, but it is the retro style, I guess you could say. I don't know what they call it because, really, because um, it's basically the look of an old boot, but on the new model. So um, this came out in 2001, the original boot that this is, I guess, molded after or um what it's supposed to be or look like um come out came out in 2001 too little to have those never seen them in person never seen anybody have them um so yeah um but it was part of a nike alpha project i believe they did um sneakers as well um a few different things so um this is basically just to look like that boot um so it's not that boot but I mean, design-wise and everything, it looks almost the same to it. So we have it here. And it's kind of cool um, that they kind of have the same colors as um, the World Cup edition Mercurios that they released. So it still has that copper. And then this, like, it's like a hint of, I don't know, a purple, a blue. Really, well, it's just as black and black, but... I'm telling you, when you see these in person, it's not black. Um, I guess, so obviously um, everything is the same uh, for the boot as the regular version um, of the Vapor 15. Um, so it's not gonna feel any different. It's just, you're just getting the look. Uh, really cool looking boot. Um, I like that they do this. You know, this is like their heritage um, line that they were doing they've done a couple of those and I mean it's cool and all but I think I don't know if they give us if they give us limited quantities maybe of the original boot if they just made the original one I think that would be pretty cool but for now I guess we just get something that looks like the past but with you know the technology of the future um, I guess that's that's good and all but like if you think about you know retro sneakers and i've said this before people those still sell out people still buy those maybe not to play basketball and hooping but they still wear them so you know there's collectors out there who might want to wear that boot or who's who never had them like me and would totally buy that boot and it'd be up to me to decide if they're comfortable or not to wear um but yeah so here let me just put this down for a little bit Show you guys a little bit more of the stuff um so basically this these dots were on um the original back then um and then i think i want to say this insole has the same design as well sorry i don't um have this boot for reference or anything like that so i'm just going off of what i've seen pictures research that i've tried to do um Oh yeah, so the original did have the Zoom Air and that is taken from the original as well. I don't know if you can see that where it says Zoom Air. So again, these this is no new tech by Nike. It's not some groundbreaking innovation that they just started doing. Um, they've been doing it before, they've done it before. Um, so yeah, guys, again, they're gonna feed you and tell you, make it seem like it's the best thing, it's something new. But they've done it before and i think on the on the original it was a full length which is like the special edition that they released before they released um the 15. um so yeah don't let nike fool you into thinking that it's some some great technology but if you if you've been watching the world cup not all the players have switched over to the new um vapor or, or superfly yet so they're still kind of wearing the old one i don't know if they don't like the zoom air which i would think that nike would be able to customize their boots to not have the zoom air and to just be a regular um especially um since you know what they've done with in the past with like neymar and giving him boots to look like a different boot if you know what i'm talking about i've um, talked about it before so that kind of surprises me why they wouldn't you know do that for these players that don't want to switch over maybe they're they're not they don't like the zoom air but I'm pretty sure they can make them a Zoom Air or make them a boot without the Zoom Air. 
Um, so I don't know why they're not or why they haven't done that, but I don't know. So basically it's just, it's just like the graphic on the boot. Nothing is different, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys. I don't know if I'll be keeping this in the collection. I would love to wear it, but honestly, I want the original. I, I want to know what it was like to play in the original. Um, and that's probably not going to happen because one, they're probably hard to find. And if they are, you know, prices are just insane. And quite frankly, I don't see why anybody would want to pay um, uh, a lot of money for a boot that probably is going to fall apart on you or not last you very long. So with that being said, guys, um, thank you for watching this video. Um, let me know if you've tried the new uh, Vapor 15 Elite yet. If you're planning on doing it, if you're going to skip it, or you're just waiting for a different color. There are some cool colors, I think, that are going to be coming out soon. So stay tuned for that. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.